And we are back. Get ready for Boxing Egos, the roundup. Why round up all of boxing's news, the best bits, the best highlights in one convenient package for you. Got a lot to talk about on the roundup. First, Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. The card has officially been confirmed. Let's take a look at it. Devin Haney, as you guys know, he is the main event. He'll be fighting Ryan Garcia. That is a good fight that I'm looking forward to. And Arnold Barbosa, he is the co-main. He is going to fight Sean, the public nuisance, McComb, who is an Irish fighter. That is the co-main event. Again, Arnold Barbosa Jr. versus Sean Puffy Combs. You have Beck the Bully versus Pierre Diabom. Diabom? Right? And you have John Scrappy Ramirez versus David Imenez. Finally, to round off the card, Charles Conwell, which is a new signee to Golden Boy, versus Nathaniel Gallimore. From the top, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, Arno Barbosa versus Sean McComb, Beck the Bully versus Pierre Diabom, John Scrappy Ramirez versus David Jimenez, Charles Conwell versus Nathaniel Gallimore of Jamaica. Wow. Golden Boy, not so impressive with the undercard. I mean, this is an $80 pay-per-view. I think they could have done better. Like, put... There's a lot of people they could have put on it, to be honest. Like, they're doing Virgil Ortiz and putting him on the Fresno card, but this would have been a better put Virgil Ortiz on the card or something like that, especially since you're charging $80. The Fresno card with Jose Ramirez, I get what they're doing. You got two... Mexican American fighters, you want to put them in Fresno, sell tickets. But for the fact that Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia is a pay per view, I would have liked to see a better card, especially when you start to factor in things like De La Hoya laughing at Roley for losing to Pitbull Cruz and making several videos. So you got time to take time out of your day, but this is. The Haney Garcia is supposed to be your biggest fight. And this is the undercard that you put forth with it. Let me know what you guys think of the undercard. That is the official undercard. Took a while to actually come out, but it's here now. In other boxing news, after a sensational knockout victory to become champion, Isaac Pitbull Cruz sit, sitting on top of the world, top of the world, top, top, top of the world. Shout out to Brandy Norwood. Pitbull Cruz on top of the world. One person who is not so impressed is Ryan Garcia. And Ryan Garcia says he would stretch Pitbull Cruz and knock Pitbull Cruz out. Despite the great performance, hurting Roley in the first round, finishing him later in the fight, and hurting him throughout the fight and dominating, Ryan Garcia is not so impressed and he believes he would knock out Pitbull Cruz. And he says... He's seen that style time and time again. It ain't. Uh, God bless you. I can't, I can't wait to see your fight. Thank you so much. Hey, Ryan, I had a quick question. Real quick, real quick, real quick before Looney. Yeah. What do you think of yeah. Tank? Uh, I mean, not Tank. Uh, what do you think of um, Pitbull calling you out after the fight? Oh, yeah, I've been calling him out, though. I mean, that dude, Um, you know, when I was making my comeback fight, I was pressing that fight hard Um, after that year and a half layoff, and he didn't want it. And then he still didn't want it after... I beat um, Tay and then he didn't want it after I beat Fortuna, and then I called him again out, you know, so many times, and I even, even it, it, it was even ordered by the WBC for us to fight, I mean, obviously they went around it, so it doesn't really matter, bro, like, all that, like, what, mandatory shit, shit don't matter, bro. So when you sleep yeah, Devin, you. When, you, when you sleep Devin, ten, I mean, Pitbull gotta be next, right? Gotta be. That'd be a massive I would love, fight. I would love, I would love for that to happen, but it won't happen. I'll tell you why. Politics, brother. PBC will not let not, let nobody fight me unless I be fighting with them. I'm just being real with you. Unless it's like a big fight like Tank, but it ain't gonna happen, bro. 
They don't. They won't. They won't. They won't want to make that fight happen. Trust me. And Sean, I know he's not with. I guess he is technically with PBC because Sean Gibbons, Gibbons is basically PBC. So, and that dude, you know, I don't want to talk about him no more. But that dude played me too. They all trick. They all try to make me seem like a liar. And you know, and when I exposed them, they all got sad and got scared because I said, "Hey, bro, why would you tell me there's a fucking Manny Pacquiao fight for me?" And make me lose that tank fight after I fought Campbell. Uh, because you wouldn't lie to me that you had a fucking Manny Pacquiao fight. And they are, they don't, nobody ever wants to fucking, nobody ever wants to speak up for me for that. Like, it's fucking bullshit. Like, my team should have spoke up for me on that, you know, because uh, back then, that shit was a big deal. And everybody was like, oh, you're a liar, you're a liar. And ain't nobody spoke up for me. It's fucked up. Hey, uh, I'll go ahead, Lomi. I got the Lomi. Oh, thank you, Patriot. Um, yeah, so uh, real quick is um, I've been doing a little research into the, essentially the energy which people have, right? I'm, I'm glad to see you up here, man. All respect to your fight coming up and keep the energy high and make sure whatever you do, you keep your chin down uh, and you'll be fine. Thank you, man. I, I appreciate you. Uh, yeah, I was just, uh, real quick, I was I was going to talk to you about the Roly fight, man. Um I saw that you had put that you would uh knock out uh what's his name Pitbull Cruz. Yeah. I definitely yeah. agree with you because yeah. that style is usually what the style one of the styles you run into a lot. My favorite style, and it's it's more. Yeah, it's it's my favorite style of all time. I mean, I fought. I don't I can't count how many times I sparred somebody there like that, fought somebody like that, been in the gym with somebody like that, uh, and he's he he is. Definitely much smaller than me, even smaller than Duarte. Duarte fought similar to him, just bigger and maybe slower, and not as I guess not as aggressive, but still very similar style. Uh, they could deny it all they want, but Duarte and, and, and Cruz had a very similar style. I would just be fighting a somewhat smaller version and possibly a little bit better than Duarte, but I could handle that because um, again, I knocked out Duarte in eight. I feel like I could knock out Pitbull within five rounds. And using that jab, right? That j nice jab. Yeah, the j jab, learn him. Into, I mean, he's coming forward anyway, so he's going to have to eat some. So, again, um, I, I, I know exactly. Roley's made a mistake. He went back way too much in the fight. He didn't. He doesn't know how to stop momentum. He doesn't know how to, you know, he doesn't know how to do anything. He's a beginner still. I was going to say, so I try to tell Roley ain't the most technically savvy dude, you know, like. It's not even about technical. He just don't know what to do in situations. Like, again, Muhammad Ali didn't have the best technique, but he knew what to do in situations because he's boxed his whole life. He knows himself. Rollies is still new to the game. He doesn't know how to handle a pressure fighter. You can't just let them get what they want all the time and keep on putting pressure. You need to hold them, push them back, throw them back, you know, stop the momentum on them, rough them in the inside a little bit, then get back on your bike. You can't just let them have their way. He just doesn't understand the game at a higher level. He just... He just does it. I mean, he's just he's still new to the game, but it props to him for doing what he was able to do. But um he's not he's not experienced. That's just bottom line. I was telling everybody that. And now his chin is toast. You know, his his body can't take a good shot. Those weren't even hard shots. But to do. But um he's not he's not experienced. That's just bottom line. I was telling everybody that. And now his chin is toast. You know, his his body can't take a good shot. Those weren't even hard shots. Dude just can't take a punch. It's the truth. Yeah, he got knocked Bro. out in uh he got knocked out in Smarn a couple times. And he is yeah. he's definitely a hundred percent I he looks like a beginner. Look like he ain't been yeah. boxing longer than five years, to me at least. Um, yeah. He don't know how to fight going backwards and that's something oh. you gotta do with Pit Bull Cruz. I'll in there. Go ahead. That was Ryan Garcia in a recent spaces. So he didn't sound too impressed with Pitbull Cruz. He did bring up size. But, you know, the good thing about a guy like Pitbull Cruz, what people fail to realize is that Pitbull Cruz, men stop puberty 21 to 25, somewhere in that range, right? So Pitbull Cruz is as tall as he's going to be. He's age 25. So likely that's as tall as he's going to get. So you have to understand when you're dealing with a fighter who's naturally kind of short per the division, they're used to fighting taller people because 
mostly everybody is taller than them. It's like Spud Webb in the NBA or Muggsy Bogues in the NBA. They're used to everyone being taller and you have to, you know, you have to get your own. You know, same thing with Allen Iverson, AI, one of my favorites, right? He didn't beat people because he was the biggest. He beat people because they couldn't keep up with him. And he was on both sides of the court and he was fast breaking and crossing over. Like, you know what I mean? So Pitbull is used to fighting the Ryans. Is Ryan used to fighting someone as dangerous as a Pitbull, you know, that's shorter than him? I mean, the only experience even close is a shorter Javante Davis, who was considerably smaller, but he got knocked out in that fight. So... I don't know. The other thing he said is Roley was getting hit with shots that weren't even hard. Totally disagree with that. Pitbull throws with bad intentions every time, and he does carry power. Who knows, moving from 35 to 40, having less of a weight cut, he might have even been stronger in this new division just because he's dehydrating his body less. But I don't have too much more words other than that for that particular fight. Just based on the fact that in a few short weeks, he's fighting Devin Haney. Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney. The beginning of this video, I told you the undercard for that fight. So you got to get past Devin Haney. We got to see what happens there before any of us are truly concerned about Ryan versus Pitbull Cruz. Because if you get embarrassed by Devin Haney, your stock will drop. And I don't know how feasible a fight would be with the PBC fighter who just became a champion if you if Ryan is off of a loss, which is certainly a possibility dealing with the fighter as good as Devin Haney. Let's move on with the news. Gervonta Davis is looking like he's in monster shape. This could be the best Tank Davis has looked in terms of his career, the best shape. He looks very light, very lean as he prepares for an upcoming fight likely with frank martin now as of this video the fight has not been officially announced and confirmed and i want to show you what tank davis is looking like you see right there gervonta davis is already in shape these are pictures of him sparring and or training getting ready with his coach Calvin Ford and team and like just look at look at Tank right there he looks light Leonard Ellerby has always been on record stating that Javante Davis if he wanted to he can make lighter divisions like 130 judging by this picture I would say that is true I would definitely say he could make the lighter division like a 130 if he wanted but there's better opportunities for him Again, you see Tank Davis in shape. Very, very good to see. Calvin Ford all smiles in the background. Tank Davis looks like he's working himself to the point of possibly exhaustion. And Ego Weight Watchers. Even though this is the roundup, it's also an Ego Weight Watchers, aka Ill, where I give you a look into the fighter lifestyle before, after, and progress picks, especially when they have an upcoming fight. We're just waiting on that official announcement, Tank Davis versus Frank Martin. But you truly love to see it, the shape that Tank's in, how serious he's been dedicated. And I'm going to keep saying this because I see the shapeshifters. I see old media. When Tank Davis was looking fluffy, puffy, he was in his off season and his weight did not look like it was being maintained in the same way, old media the shapeshifters they made sure to put that in front of your face because when it's the negative news cycle they're going to push that regarding oftentimes black fighters but definitely fighters with pbc and popular pbc fighters like errol spence or if wilder has some kind of problem or loses or guys like javante davis the face of boxing again when tank off-season weight wasn't being managed the same way. This is all you've seen. Talk, talk, talk. Chatter, chatter, chatter. Making videos, posting pictures, content. Oh, Tank's going to be the next Adrian Broner. He's undisciplined. He's going to lose, yada, yada, yada. Now, he went in a completely different direction. 
He put the city of Baltimore on his back. He's taken a dangerous foe in Frank Martin. Now those same people are finding new ways to hate. You hate to see it. Now, finally, on the roundup, it is official. Sebastian Fundora has been suspended by the Nevada State Athletic Commission after his fight with Tim Zhu. So you guys see that on the screen. INSAC has officially suspended Sebastian Fundora. He received a broken nose. I did a separate video talking more so about that, what that means. Check that on the channel. And that was part of the ego injury report series. But for those who missed that video, you get it right now. Sebastian Fundura is suspended provisionally until September 27th by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. He can't fight. He cannot spar. And he has to see an ENT specialist to determine the corrective action surgery, if surgery is needed, how long it's going to take to recovery. And anytime you're dealing with an injury, not everyone's Wolverine. Some people take longer to heal. Some people heal very quickly, like Logan, like, hey, bub, berserker, rah, rah. you know, they got that Wolverine healing ability, but it's on a case by case basis. So at the end of the day, you never truly know. You got to kind of wing it and see what the doctors say and what Sebastian Fundora's team says. What does this mean? Now, Terrence Crawford was hoping to fight the winner of Tim Zhu or Errol Spence. But now that's up in the air for another reason. Sebastian Fundora suspended. His team said he's not coming back until the back half of this year, like November. Crawford's been out of the ring since the Errol Spence performance July of last year. So what is he going to wait till November? Besides that, there's bigger fights within the PBC circuitry like Errol Spence, like a Tim Zhu rematch. So those fights make more sense, make more money, you know, even if it requires Fundura to vacate the WBO belt. So we will have to see how everything plays out. Listen, I am one person. Shout out to everybody who sent cash apps, super chats, super thanks, and help build the channel in such a phenomenal way. That enables me to put out more content like this, the roundup, and come up with these original series that no one else in boxing is doing to make it your one-stop shop. I also have my affiliate links in the description. Shout out to everybody in the miraculous ways that you guys support the channel. If you like the roundup, let me know in the comment section. I consolidate and get all the news in one central location. It's kind of like Walmart. Walmart has food. They got diapers. They got pet food they got clothes they got home decor paint automotive kitchen gadgets bathroom accessories your one-stop shop now i'm a little bit cleaner than walmart but the same concept with the roundup sign the contract big boy sign the contract <laughs>